What up, world? Peace, kings and queens. I'm doing this video in reference to sleep paralysis. I'm here to dispel the age-old myth of the negative connotation that surrounds sleep paralysis. I've been having a lot of deep dialogue and discussion with individuals that are experiencing certain things. Because of the time that we're in, in the age of Aquarius, the veil is lifted. People are more sensitive. People are more aware. There's an abundance of information. And now, instead of just hearing your parents and your grandparents fears about these things that they have actually programmed into you, religion, um, people operating out of fear, people operating out of ignorance or just a lack of knowledge. Also, people acting or reacting to life because they don't open themselves up to just feel to experience, to decipher and use their discernment of what their spirit is actually saying to them. Because in life, our experiences, because of what we think, say, do, feel, creates our reality. So there are, we are spiritual beings. No one can deny that. We are three-part beings, mind, body, and spirit. It's just that a lot of people tend to the physical, but they don't tap into the spirit or the mind. They wash their bodies and they uh, decorate their outer selves, but they don't take the time to go within. So when you don't take the time to go within, what happens is your spirit is there. While you're sleeping, your spirit doesn't need rest. So your spirit is roaming the earth, so to say. It is up. It is uh, moving about having experiences. Now, I'm going to explain to you certain things that should open your eyes to the situation and make you more aware. And don't listen to anything that I'm saying. I'm only speaking on certain things so you can have a reference point to dig deeper, to do your own research, to study, to show yourself approved based on the experiences that you have, not someone else. Again, religion is someone else's experiences, someone else's fears and programming. Spirituality is you having your experience. You're an individual soul. You have your own mind. So again, where most people... Um, accuse people of brainwashing. That's what religion does. That's what school does. You know what I mean? That's what college does. That's what society does. So anyway, as you sleep, your spirit is up. I'm sure many of you have had deja vu. Deja vu is simply when your spirit has been to a certain place and had an experience, but your physical has it. And when you, in the physical when your mind, body, and spirit is present in one, get to that place, you remember it because the way the mind works, it's like a program. It's, it's a computer. It's computing and receiving and downloading everything, whether you remember it in your conscious mind or not. Now, let's tap into where it really gets deep. Sleep paralysis is where your body cannot move. A lot of you are awakening to your true selves. A lot of you, uh, we are, energy is never destroyed. It's only transferred. So a lot of us are our ancestors. A lot of us are reincarnated deities that have a certain purpose and certain gifts. And our life is just gonna go a certain way. The problem in this world is people don't take the time to figure out their true purpose, their God-given purpose. 
because they're too busy seeking their selfish desires. They're too busy trying to accomplish the American dream and obtain material possessions and wealth and status. And those that tap into spirit, you know, God will reward you and position you and make you great amongst people. So at a time where I was assumed to be a conspiracy theorist, crazy, um, self-seeking, self-righteous, all of these things because I was different and I was actually being open and honest about my experiences, trying to figure them out instead of avoid them, suppress them and run from them. Now a lot of people are reaching out and I'm having these conversations, which is leading me to do these type of videos. So being that you guys are very special, very important to the Most High, and they're benevolent beings, and there's um, malevolent beings. There's positive energy, there's negative energy. There's light, there's dark. So a lot of you are special. A lot of you are star seeds. A lot of you are empaths to where you pick up on other people's energies. So a lot of the battles and struggles and things that you're dealing with is not your own. Again, that goes back to the programming of um, past pains and experiences, your parents' fears and uh, mistakes and failures, religion, the programming of school, a system that you know teaches lies, but we are so programmed that we keep up the whole doctrine of whatever is plaguing us, even though it may not be beneficial. So sleep paralysis is, a lot of times, it could be depending on your energy. It's always depending on your energy. If you are a positive person or a negative person, but if you're a positive person, those are those higher beings, angels, if you will. If you want to call them aliens, let's call them that because that's the world that we live in. Look at any religious text. It talks about certain uh, beings. It talks about spirits. It talks about giants. It talks about unicorns and mermaids. And the fact that people think that these things don't exist in the world that we live in, other species, Yo, you have to be a fool. You have to wake up. The time is now. This is the information age. So if you don't have information, it's your fault. But sleep paralysis is simply those beings trying to keep you calm, to not hurt yourself. So if you experience sleep paralysis, what I want you to do is stay calm. Fear not. Fear. Stop operating in fear. When you're not operating in fear, you're walking in love. You're walking in a knowing. So when you operate from that standpoint, you are able to have experiences and decipher whether they're benevolent or malevolent, whether they're positive or negative, whether they're good or bad for you. Stop going off of other people's experiences. Everyone should be meditating. If you're not meditating, you're doing yourself a very big disservice. Meditating is washing for your spirit. If you get up and wash every day and brush your teeth and you don't meditate, you're not fully clean. And a lot of these experiences will not happen for you because your three parts of your being is not clean. And cleansiness is next to godliness. That's just not your physical. That is your mental. That is your spiritual. So if you're not meditating, if you're not taking the time to uh, channel your uh, stresses in the day and clear your energy, yo, you're probably carrying a lot of things and that's where stress and depression and fears and all of these negative uh, things happen. So again, be calm when you're experiencing sleep paralysis. It is not, and I repeat, it is not the devil riding you. Let's dispel all of these uh, negative connotations that are meant to keep you in fear. False evidence appearing real. So again, if you're experiencing sleep paralysis, God is trying to tell you something. If you're waking up at 3 a.m. 
every morning. God is trying to get your attention. Follow your spirit. If you see someone that you feel that you're drawn to or your spirit is leading you to reach out to or ask a question to, or if you see somebody that is posting something that you're intrigued about that resonates with you, yo, stop walking in pride, ego, and fear. Stop walking in insecurities. Your spirit is trying to awaken. Awaken ones unite. God is trying to tell you something and is trying to get your attention. Stop believing and giving your power and your mind to fear and demons and negative energy. Tap into the light. Tap into the most high. Tap into the angels that are surrounding you. We all come here with angels, with spirit guides, with ascended masters, our higher selves. And that's why a lot of times we have dreams. It is simply you're not in tune and paying attention in spirit. And your spirit is trying to get your attention. A lot of times if you're dreaming, that is a message from the most high, the heavens, the heavenly host, trying to get your attention. Stop being so distracted. Stop being so busy and pay attention. The universe is making the whole world sit still. Take advantage of this time. Do more constructive things with your time. Do more research. Learn to meditate. Learn to practice something that is going to clear your negative energy, sound therapy. You see what I'm saying? Tap into the ancient modalities that were left for us to heal ourselves and raise our vibration and clear us of all of these negative entities and these doctrines that keep us down and hold us back. It's time to live life. There's a great shift that's happening all over the planet, all over the world. Either you're going to be a part of it or not. Either you're going to be stuck in the third dimension or you're going to raise your vibration into the fifth dimension. But a lot of people are going to experience two different worlds. Just like now, a lot of people are stressed. A lot of people are starting to get hit with economic problems and failures. While some people are it's more beneficial to them. They're coming into their selves. This experience is great and it's very beneficial to them. So to each their own, stop going off of other people's experiences and stop associating yourself with negative people. Regardless if these people are family members or so-called friends, yo, do what resonates with your spirit, your soul. Do what is beneficial to you. But be self-controlled and disciplined. The time is now. Raise your vibration. Step into your higher self. If you have any questions or you want to have deeper dialogue and discussion, where it gets much deeper than this, I'm just doing this video to, again, send this message to say it's not what you think it is. It's deeper than that. It's always deeper than the surface. It's time to peel back the layers. It's time to go deep within. It's time to look in the mirror and figure out who you truly are, what your purpose is, what God is trying to tell you, and God, how God has equipped you. Stop comparing yourself. Stop judging. Stop being so distracted by what everyone else is doing on social media. And that's another thing. If you're so concerned what others are doing, that's a sign of misery and unhappiness and jealousy and envy in your life. Stop worrying about what others are doing. As long as people are happy and not harming you and they're looking to have deeper experiences, yo, let them. And if you want to just wallow in lower vibrations, no one is going to judge you to eat your own, but it is time to awaken to your higher self, to step into and walk in your I am. I do these videos because I'm passionate, but I am now seeing the power and the reach and the span of this platform. People are reaching out to me from other countries. I now have dialogue and deep discussion and friends in other places that are all over the world. And that's what it's about. 
Use social media as a tool that's going to be beneficial to you. Use it to be an entrepreneur in this time to make money. Stop relying on old systems that are now failing and falling, as you can clearly see. Reach out to those that are your soul family. So that's all I have to say. Um, didn't mean for this video to be that long. Usually my videos are anywhere from three to five minutes, but I felt that this had to be said. I'm definitely going to be doing a lot more videos and a lot more deeper video, videos in reference to what's going on and the things that are happening because people are experiencing th certain things, but people are in the shadows. They're in fear of being judged and ridiculed and being called crazy. Me, it is what it is. I don't care. I've been called Crazy Chris all my life. But now it's just interesting how Crazy Chris is now becoming Wise Chris. So tap into your own wisdom, your own power. You know what I mean? Go deep within and raise your vibration. And be honest with your experiences. It's okay to feel things, to talk about things, to question things. But figure things out. Now is the time of knowing. You know what I mean? Not blind faith. So much love, light, and positive energy to all of you out there. Peace.